If it wasn't for Seattle Central, I truly would not be where I am today. I returned to Seattle Central as a single mom in my 30s, and I knew then, as soon as I was a mom, that I had to do something. I had to get a college education to provide for my daughter the way that I wanted to. And I called women's programs. Lexi Evans was the director. And probably in two days, I was in her office. She talked to me for about two hours. And in two months, I was in school. Boom. I had tried for so many years, and no one had ever held their hand out to me. Nobody ever reached out and said, you're college material. Which was hard for me, because actually my family life, I was a foster kid at some point, so not feeling fully confident and worthy in the world. I didn't ever realize or think or dream that I would ever be in a position where I could help someone else. It is really the starting point for what changed my whole life and for what I have come to do. I mean, it really taught me some critical thinking skills, really taught me leadership skills, really taught me that what I'm bringing, I can make a difference as far as moving to a more just and social world. I found friends, I connected with faculty, and the way that the professors engage, I think really does ask people to bring their identities with them rather than leave them at the door as it often feels. They actually invite that to come into the classroom and to share that so we can see one another, who we really are. I would sit next to a 19-year-old skateboarder and a 60-year-old grandma, and somehow the way the content or the way the teachers taught or maybe just the whole climate of the school, um, we could find a common ground. Everybody was welcome there. It felt like home to me. I will never forget receiving that scholarship. It was the first time I felt like somebody said, I believe in you so much, I'm actually going to pay for you to go to school. Just the whole concept that somebody that I didn't know somehow could see me and all my fabulousness and thought I was, you know, worthy. The money comes and goes, but that feeling of somebody believing in you never leaves you. And I'll always remember that. I mean, they believed in me when I, I don't think I even believed in myself. And I stayed in touch with my donor, and over the course of the years, I would send him letters to let him know what I was doing and where I was, and that their belief in me actually had made a difference for somebody. And so I would tell him, I'm at the University of Washington now. This is what I'm doing. Oh, I got another award. This is what happened to me. I wrote him until I got into graduate school. I wrote him letters so he would know. I'm sorry. <laughs> so he would know that what they did, you know, made a difference for people. So many of us have started there. I've never heard anyone that's graduated from Seattle Central that says, oh, I wish I would have done it different. My name is Cynthia Del Rosario. I'm the Diversity, Equity, and Access Officer for the Information School at the University of Washington and a very, very proud graduate of Seattle Central.